Uh, each morning you can come out and just get a glimpse of a breathtaking sunrise and you say to yourself, man, there'll never be another one like that. But then you catch yourself the next day saying that and the next day and the next day and it's just, it's, it's amazing. Uh, the lay of the land and the way the sun comes up, it's, it's second to none. No place on earth like it. Um, my everyday work life is going out and you know, making horses our number one priority. You know, we have a long history. We've uh, conceived six of the 12 Triple Crown winners. Uh, we have over 20 Kentucky Derby winners conceived here. Uh, over 20, I think around 22 Preakness winners conceived here. And 23 Belmont winners conceived here. So our history runs deep and we're very proud of it. My name is Walker Hancock. I am the managing director of Claiborne Farm. You know, my grandfather put us on the map, uh, you know, back in his day when he was running the farm by importing a lot of stallions and stuff from uh, Europe and bringing in a lot of fresh blood and that kind of reinvigorated the American horse uh, thoroughbred business. And uh, I would say that we are definitely known for that. And a lot of those, uh, uh, sires and their lineage still run deep through our uh, pedigrees today. So, My name's Wesley Purcell. I'm the broodmare manager at Claiborne. It, it may be cliche in saying this, but I say we let them be horses. Well, people's like, well, what's that mean? Well, thoroughbred horses obviously are bred to run. Three quarters of the year, these mares and foals, stallions, yearlings, whatever that may be, are actually outside in pastures, which could be anywhere from 50 to 60 acres, um, basically playing with other individuals, which the mares and foals could be eight or 10 in a group, uh, interacting, running around the field, just basically just letting them be free. Uh, we have 3,000 acres here at the farm. Um, we have 11 stallions, about 225 brew mares, and this year we're expecting about 145, 150 mares a uh, uh, foal. Um, we have about 120 yearlings, my name is Bradley Purcell. I'm the farm manager at Claiborne Farm. Um, I oversee the day-to-day -day responsibilities of the uh, farm, its horses, employees, and communications with the clients about the horses they have on the farm. How many people have a 3,000 acre office? I mean, you get to come and see the beautiful scenery, the horses, and, and the people, and I just don't think there's many people that have the opportunity to come and say that this is their office. Most times they got an office job, they're in a, in a cubicle somewhere answering a telephone or looking at a computer screen all day and it's much more rewarding looking at these beautiful thoroughbreds and, and the surroundings than, than a computer screen. Uh, the family atmosphere at the farm is really incredible. I mean, the, the ownership is in multiple generations. We have several employees here that, you know, are, are several generations. Those new foals that were born during the night and just wondering, is this the next Kentucky Derby winner, Kentucky Oaks winner, Breeders' Cup winner? Uh, you just, you see that work that, that the farm and all the employees have put in, the matings, uh, all the phone calls to get contracts signed and all the, all the stuff that a lot of people don't see, but to see that little foal standing in that stall the morning after he's born and say, is this the next champion that, that we can add to Claiborne's roster? My name is Joe Peel. I'm the stallion manager at Claiborne Farm. It's a real privilege and pleasure to take care of these uh, thoroughbred stallions here on Claiborne Farm. I've been here an employee for 30 years. The Hancocks are very good people to work for. Um, it's, it's a place that feels like family oriented. It's a very historic place. Uh, the beliefs are very old fashioned and, and very good beliefs. The Hancocks thoroughly love and and care for their horses. Um, our stallions do a unique thing here on the farm. We will not overbook them, we will not overbreed them, they do not shuttle and breed southern hemisphere. I think that's very important for the livelihood of a stallion and uh, living out a good and thorough and, and uh, very peaceful life. Um, the beliefs that Arthur Boyd Hancock started back in his years of working here and uh, bringing Bull Hancock up into the industry and then Seth and Seth carrying on that, uh, that belief and heritage on through his son and his daughter, uh, Walker and uh, Allison. Uh, I feel like it's very important to keep up the, the good standards and the belief and not leaning toward any other changes 
and just sticking to a good routine. My grandfather's saying was do the usual and usually well. You know, we're, we're proud of uh, our heritage and we like to keep it that way.